Um, a Black Friday battle is intensifying between FedEx and a key contractor that's issuing a holiday peak ultimatum. Frank Holland is going to explain even more about this story. Hey, Frank. Hey, good morning, Joe. Well, FedEx filing a lawsuit today to stop what it calls misinformation about its ability to deliver during the holiday peak coming from the largest contractor for FedEx Ground. I spoke with the CEO of FedEx Ground about that lawsuit and the contractor who says without more compensation, he will stop delivering before Black Friday. It's very important for us that we do this to protect our brand, our customers. The vast majority of our service providers are committed to delivering an outstanding holiday season. And I know personally many service providers have no interest in refusing to deliver on Black Friday. But we're always ready with our contingencies to keep our network stable. So a lot of people don't know this, but FedEx Ground is operated entirely by 6,100 outside contractors. The largest of those contractors, Spencer Patton, operates in 10 states. And he claims that many of these contractors are operating at a loss because of rising fuel, labor and vehicle cost. City actually estimates it could be as high as 50 percent based on discussions with contractors at their annual meeting, attended by an estimated 3,500 contractors. Patton is also the organizer of this meeting. This is video of his keynote from that meeting. He also claims that FedEx offered to renegotiate contracts, but not in good faith. For many of you, you have the same story that you've requested renegotiations and are unable to even get a response. You're getting a denial. So FedEx's lawsuit is not focused on those renegotiation claims, but says it has renegotiated or newly negotiated more than a quarter of contracts in the last three months. Analysts don't expect a major impact on operations, but say increasing compensation could impact the ground margin targets from FedEx's investor day back in June. Back over to you. Yeah, it's it's more expensive, Frank. And, and uh, I, I don't know. It sounds to me like maybe this is just some wrangling and they'll get it done. But margins somewhere are going to be impacted, it seems like. Well, Joe, I've spoken to a number of these contractors. A lot of them are happy with their deals, but there certainly is a faction of people that feel like FedEx needs to give them some type of financial relief and many who want to renegotiate. And another sticking point for them is ending Sunday delivery. A lot of them say that Sunday delivery just isn't profitable enough for their business. Remember, they're contractors. They buy a route from FedEx and they have to make the, the numbers work after they buy that route. So where we're the largest contractor, what what route or what routes do, do they control? Because if this is a piecemeal situation, you know, I, I guess we're all kind of wondering if you're using FedEx, is it going to work come that time? And the, obviously right. a huge issue. This is what's playing out right here. But if it's piecemeal, the ones who are the angriest and that largest contractor, where do they cover? Well, the largest contractor is in the Midwest. He operates in 10 different states. He operates about 200 routes. So that's really the question here, Becky, is how many of these contractors are upset and how organized this is? Um, just because of antitrust rules, uh, Spencer Patton, the largest contractor, makes it clear when he's calling for what he calls Purple Friday, which is closing his business before Black Friday, he's only speaking for himself legally. He can't really organize what he calls a horizontal effort to do a boycott or some type of work stoppage. But again, it's not really clear how many workers, or excuse me, contractors are upset and how upset they are. Are they upset enough to close down their own business? Because remember, they make money by partnering with FedEx. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.